Great, please excuse any chewing sounds you have, and I'm gonna tweet back on stream. Got some food. Back to the grind. Just finished... what was last? Having a nice dinner. Oh, no. A really sweet cutscene. In game as well. There we go. Let's get rolling. Is anyone beating the first child and then walking out of to duty? I get a burger the size of my head like Graha. Not unless my head is drastically shrunk while I wasn't looking. Just, I'm considering I fucked up. I'm not gonna head over there. Oh, okay. at school. I want to see. I want to see. Oh wait, I can just teleport over there. Um. So yeah, my assumption is next we are heading to Garlemald. The trial there for the first one will be Anima. Since they usually reveal the first trial. Um. And then... We go to the moon after Garlemald. And then after that, the Ethereal Sea, maybe? And then we find out that the final days were actually caused by... Fam, I don't know. We find out the final days were caused by aliens. And then we gotta go beat the shit out of Lavos. Alphano, how you feeling about school? Giant water pitcher, huh? Oh, the one way up there. Yeah, that makes sense. Charlene's foremost educational institute. Okay, so this is a speech that they've heard before. <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet!
I almost lost a pickle there. Did you just say Aliapo? Sorry, you have an Aliapo here? Oh my god, you're so popular here. Very common moon cat name. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> he's so he's so popular. of the nerds. Yeah, no, he really is. Also, I love this acoustic theme. Just by the by. Hey, Jude. Gotcha. I've tracked down many miscellaneous knickknacks in my time, but I'm no gleaner. Love them. Thank you again for helping back in the, uh, the Rostra, Professor Montichane. Ah, I remember you. Likewise. I pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum.
Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. Why, if fair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint, putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. Aw, the little wink. That's cute. I like this grandpa. He He's sweet. If I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty that the Forum must fulfill? Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the Forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. I knew it! They're under some form of gas. Or Our like a spell. Is of the gravest importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, it would incite widespread panic. As such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment, which prevents us from speaking of such matters without the express permission of the Forum. Damn. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. Now, yeah, why well, the forum members seem to be choked off. Trying to explain and then... reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul, and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? Yes, very good. This is the form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even Crystals, the baby. daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us. No, I know it's people. This form of ether is in constant flux. In contrast, the ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same Usually. Same for memory, as the two are intrinsically linked. Listen, man, my soul's been through some shit. Picture the soul as paper, and memories as words written upon it. Now, what would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories.
It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. We would be unable to recall the memories. And any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? Oh god, the Warriors of Light! The after the after the Zembrin level Umbral Calamity, nobody could remember the, the what the Warriors of Light looked like. Bahamut, or what happened sea, after... Oh shit, I never even thought about that. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed immediately afterwards. Indeed. To this day, we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. <laughs> Alice and Alpha no, just don't mention Grandpa, don't mention Grandpa, don't mention the Grandpa. Which binds me and the rest of the forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlien prohibition against the practice of memory manipulation. Only when the new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. Unnecessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace. I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. Barring that, we must wait until we return to the ethereal sea. Is that the exact language used? Because I have a feeling that might actually happen. For there we will be purified, the blots upon our souls washed clean. And our memories drift apart and dissolve. Rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls, some believe. God, am I gonna fucking die this expansion? We are reduced to pure ether. Coalesce with that of Is that what's gonna happen? Is Tibbet's gonna die and going to have to remember everything Alternative formally? Schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world. Reborn. Like yeah, we got the echo. And maybe that's it. Both theories have their proponents. Personally, I consider each equally probable. Well, I think that's enough education for today, now that I've given you some food for thought. Or rather, an entire banquet. I would remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Valdesian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Oh! And I suggest you speak with Ki Aliapo. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits, wheresoever they may take you. 
<laughs> the echoiness of that laugh is a little bit ominous, but I choose to believe that it's actually fine. And that Grandpa isn't evil. Level 82 and still worse than my relic, thankfully. It'll, uh... It'll keep me company for just a bit longer. I'll absolutely be game for an outfit trying. Yeah, 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 show me the outfit. I see that it's been a while since I crafted. Professor Gavroche, you say. I'll do this bit later. I will have plenty of time to craft and gather and do everything that I want to in the months to come. There is a lot of Endwalker. I'm gonna keep letting it happen until the end. Kid, get away from that beaver. 
Kid, get the fuck away from that beaver. You need to get away from that beaver, like, right now. Yeah, we need to get that fucking beaver back. Like now. But first, I'm gonna do these side quests up here. Open my eyes, my hunger for knowledge has been peaked. I've heard those words before, but never in that order. As for payment, uh, talk to my friend. Not my problem right now. I hear the one with the fashion. Then what did he say? See how easy for you to perform feats of heroism, swinging your weapon up and down, grinning devilishly, things like that. Show me that battle stance you adventurers are so famous for. Excellent. Oh, this is a cute outfit. I like it. Slash B stance, let's go. And now break this crate over here. 190 seconds, you say. Okay, well. Experimental apparatus that is a rock, that was a rock, and he blew it up. Highly experimental. Ooh, I haven't stretched my arms nearly enough in the past couple hours, apparently. Excuse me. My body was gonna be fucking mad at me in the morning, holy shit. I'm only using my left hand for the time being to play. Wait. Oh god, this is the wrong place. Uh, around the corner. I've still got plenty of time, though. These robes are pretty good. Your feet barely clip through them when you're running. <laughs> A member of the forum here? I mean, welcome to Humble Lab. What did you need, madam? No, sorry, I'm just trying on the outfit for them. Oh, holy shit, a member of the studium here. Be, be cool, be cool, be cool. Wait, you're not a member of the studium? Oh, okay, cool, good to hear. Is there a new housing area, and is it already all snapped up? No, and also no, therefore. 
ash-covered envelope. Surely I don't... I don't want to take the chance that this cancels any part of the quest. You can visit it? Oh, okay. But it's not open yet. It's an oven! Just a big convection oven. <laughs> Almost. They thought I was a member of the studium. I'll be keeping them for now. I'm more than happy to. Is the in-game chat going off about air fryers? I messaged the character air fryer telling him that it is a big convection oven that I feel like I'm losing my mind and they just messaged me back. So real. So yes, they are mentioning it, but only because I brought it up first. I'm just gonna abandon this quest for now. I've been putting it off for so long that it's probably okay. leaving weird notes around. Stop it. You don't have to leave, leave weird ash-colored notes all over. I think I've spent too much mem time here if someone who I've never met thinks that I'm here all the time. Oh no. On the floor outside. Bring me food and a candle? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's my buddy. He accidentally blew up the teacher's dorm. Awfully nice of you. I appreciate it. You are going to stop right there. You are now being accompanied by the weird beaver. Oh yeah, something's wrong with this thing for sure. I don't trust him.
I don't trust him at all. That shit ain't natural. It eats wood that ain't right. What is wood? That's not why I'm not okay with this beaver. You're not the one I'm looking for. Was that a Bidoof? No. No, I don't talk about the beaver incident. Beaver, can you get up this wall? You can, good. Kid, don't trust this beaver. You found the creature? Strange, so did I. No, it's already happening. No. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. It's too late. Kid, get the fuck back here. Oh god, that's what was in the crate! Downstairs! Oh no! Charlene's fucked. Charlene's doomed. Oh fuck. God damn it. It's already doing it. <laughs> Let me onto your spaceship. We need to get the fuck out of here. Thank you so much for the host. Welcome everybody to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. We are currently on about level 82 of the main story quest. Um, please ignore the fact that I'm already 83. That It just happens. I'm doing all the side quests as I go. You understand how it is. Oh, that's when I get enhanced convert. God, wait, the beavers are here, not just on the first. How the fuck did a beaver get here? How the fuck did they get here from- No, not triple infestation, worse. How did they get here from Il Meg? How? What happened that a beaver ended up here? Graha's pocket chewed their way through the gap between dimensions.
Well, Charlene was nice while it lasted, but now the beavers are here. I see one right there, right above the hill. And then two are on this side. She dancing so the wind over What if the original beaver was from the crystal tower and that's how they got out? Oh, that makes more sense at the very least. That's still bad. But that means they were at the very least an, an invasive species in Elmeg. And from what little beaver I had from last time, they did seem to be pretty happy at least. It might be the Oligons. I won't rule it out. It's an Oligon conspiracy. Any other quests nearby? One right over here. And then one over there. And one down. Wait, the Mammoth. I should do that before I return to this side of things. Anyway, he plans to vandalize in there, but like, vandalize with math, so they might be cool with it. I don't know, man. Just here, let me take the, let me take the candle. I'll go give it to him. They were rendered endangered or extinct when it became Arctic. Thank God. That's what I'm talking about. There's a reason that they're an invasive species. <laughs> the mammoth she's so attached to is of Ali's head. Oh. It is a very good likeness. Tibbet walking up to Alize, you are never gonna believe what I found with one of the students. Girl, you have it bad. We're never letting Alize meet her. For her own sake. A best kept secret from certain individuals like Alize, and honestly, probably Alphano, since his mammoth didn't sell.
There we go, that is all of the side quests for now. Enter the main hall, yeah. Speak to Graha in the main hall. I'm so glad that Asinian is just constantly fucking lost. Like, that feels so appropriate. That's fair. Kryle is here running this side of the expedition on this side of the world. And we are about to go to war in Garlemald, which would be a bad look for her. Like, personally. Sorry. Estinian does have terrible directional sense. It's absolutely horrid. Fucking over Garlemald seems like a good thing in general. This city disagrees pretty strongly. <laughs> You made it in, nice, welcome, and congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, seeing that someone apparently went to the command room in his small clothes and a chocobo head. It gave me a chuckle.
I mean, yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's save Garlemald. For honor and glory for the people of Garlemald for revenge against the Telaferoi. Was this the Immortal Flames uh, line? Over to Garabania. Emmerich. Having fun talking to Stenian? Don't you dare tell him I spent 10 bucks on a piece of string. I will kill you. Cordola? Oh no, Gaius, alright. Yeah, you're still hanging around, huh? And Maxima is coming with us. Alright, Maxima, let's get rolling. What? Oh yeah, Gaius. Stop fucking up. The, where's the guide? There he is. Yes, please do let me through. Did you all see someone sliding into place there? 
by the, at the 12th. very start of the cutscene? Or was that just- Holy shit! The Coco's are here! You can't see it, but I threw up my arms! God, what Samson are here! Angie's gonna be so happy! Holy shit! As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. Everyone is here! We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. Oh my god! <laughs> Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many children. <laughs> the whole fucking crew turned up! The Cocos are here! I miss them! Lucia. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. For the good of all nations, not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. Hell yeah, let's fuck it up. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. I really hope the last Coco sibling made good as an alchemist. Oh yes, please, introduce me to everyone. <laughs> Girl, it's just like, yeah, man! Hey! Lisa in the Pajal. Oh, this is so good. I wonder if they show more people if you've actually met them. Like they switch between all the people you've personally met over the course of your class quest. Might I ask you to speak first? Please do. If I must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seeds here. We shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Gollumwood. The two behind me are boyfriends. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. <laughs> uh. Of course, with an experienced white mage such as yourself accompanying us as well, those requiring more <laughs> involved treatment will be in safe hands. Raya they absolutely up bring it up! <laughs> Aw, thank you. Spoken Makes me wish I leveled more classes. Wait, I know you. The name's Sikard, in case you've forgotten. Alkazoka! <laughs> anyway, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he did. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key all in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you gotta trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemal, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. All right. He's along with the ride. Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Uh, hey, what's up, Just Guildmaster? Like we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls. Believe you me. Well, you're certainly raring to go. Then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Eldin's behest. Oh, the monk! I forgot about the monk. I haven't done as much of that quest line. Fallen, and 
the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarrapin and I will be leading from the front. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Every 2.0 guild is represented here. That's sweet. The avatar of destruction. I'm glad. Yuri has been telling stories, huh? <laughs> Thank <Thankred>. God! <laughs> <laughs> With comrades oh. like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then... Let's give it our all. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. Bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days They've been ahead. doing it for a couple of years at this point at least. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and the guidance you require. The four high houses, House Hylenart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Is Joy here? Their knowledge Probably of not. Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical. Oh my god, the sky pirates are here. Holy shit. Answer. There is another awaiting introduction. <laughs> Welcome! You little shit. I hear your squire wrote a book, you little fuck! Emanolaine de Fourton, at your service. Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. But, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. Yeah, what of the gentleman of light? with my tales of daring do. Yeah, you're about Anahua. He wrote a fucking book. Were you aware? It's introductions for the grand company of Eorzea. Oh god, is Sadu here? Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Hold on, are Sadu and Magna here? Like fuck Magna, but is Sadu that here? Be the of Dome? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern <laughs> According to Lord Hayden, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way! You <laughs> <laughs> squad! Blades are here! Holy shit! Serena, and you brought company. Like it makes sense that the blades are here, but For battle and blood we come, as a step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of <laughs> only to find them beyond us. <gasps> 
We tried to go fight, but they're too far away. No quarter to the enemy. Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Okay, but what about the things they summon? We've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... The Queen's Blades, representatives of Dalmasca. Of the Dalmascan resistance group, Lente's Tears. Oh, perhaps not? I thought I recognized the one of them. And the Bosnian. Or is that their name? That's their name, isn't it? Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous, since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. When this tears are oh, Franz people, Bosnia, got it. Alamigo. All lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. They came with the Bosnians, oh, okay. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Telophoroi, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. But after seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Guardians, there's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. Fordola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Eorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Gaius Bloody Balesar himself is working to help rebuild Whirlit, a nation he once conquered. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. Hell yeah. Lisa's gotten a lot better at speaking what since Stormblood. I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. Back nine, the back just like my Nama could be in this room. Then we are in accord. Now let us review our strategy. To reach the Garlian capital in northern Ilsebard, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Iron can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. 
We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. Interesting. Huh? A fucking bounty of people to talk to. Holy shit. Rostic? Serena? Two suns, one burning red, the other frozen black. Closer they circled, closer and closer, and some dance the world fell to ruin. Blinding here, she spied blackened silhouettes and knew at once that one was yours. We knew not how to inter interpret this dream, so this sign of great danger awaits. Aww, they're friends now. I'm glad. We haven't really met a lot, but you deserve a hug. I'm glad that you're here. One of my friends is going to be very happy that the two of you have arrived. Arun, friend, how are you doing? Aw, good for her. Uh, and since I'm mid scholar quest, his uh, dialogue changes. Pippin? I'm sure they'll be in the job quest. Kokabuki! Oh, Kokobusi is at home? Alright, fair enough. Good seeing you again. Hope the family's doing well. Be sure he gets good, as, good at his alchemy. He never will without practice. Let's forget that he wrote us a note. Am I in? Please say hello to Sadu. I want to see what happens. You could talk to them. It's probably because I haven't leveled Bard enough. That makes more sense. I've got a lot of my jobs leveled, but Bard was never one I clicked with. Alberic? <laughs> it's been so long I literally did not recognize you, but it's good to see you back. God, Dragoon was one of the first I leveled, period. Done the red mage quest, Alize. I'm sorry. All right, well, oh, 
Shit, one sec. My mic was muted, my bad, I forgot about that. And Lucia, warding scales, here you go. And I'll keep the last group for the Scions. <laughs> Sent by the Empire to infiltrate Ishgard and then back to infiltrate in Garlemald on behalf of Ishgard. I'm sure it's fine. And Maxima. Everyone who's coming with us is going to need some warding scales. Do I have a warm coat glamour? I'm not sure I do. Hold on. Let me check my glamours. Oh. Is that the cry of the scions in need of a tailor? Hello, Tataru Taru. Welcome back to the party. <laughs> the girl's here. Do you have any warm clothes for me? But how? I have my ways. Tataru is. I thought you could sneak off to Ilzabard without telling me. Also, she got a new outfit. Nothing escapes my notice. She kept the hat, though. Of course, she kept the hat. Now you will wear these garments I made for you, whether you like it or not. You never cease to amaze. Why do you need a new outfit as well? Are you coming with us? And she's just like, no, I just wanted it. It's all in the name of fashion, the pursuit of the highest quality fashion. How can I expect others to wear my creations if I've never worn them myself? Again, Tataru makes all of these outfits straight up. <laughs> she's so talented. It's great. <laughs> 
Even the one member of the Scions who can't fight Erigmus and Bloomweeda? Oh, shit. Bring things back at headquarters. I was wondering if I could lend a hand in Charlie and we would be glad to have you. We'd love to have you there. I heard Erigmus and Bloomweeda did a fine job carrying on in our sed while we were lying comatose. Got nothing to worry about while they're keeping track. Also, while I'm confident you won't go collapsing in because a certain someone who shall remain nameless isn't in a position to transport your souls to another world. Oh, welcome back, Tataru. <laughs> it was only for like two levels, but I missed you sacking the crew. Holy shit. If anything similarly disastrous were to happen, I'd be well positioned to do something about it. Hey, anyway, I got a few things to take care of and now I'll make my way to Charlian. I really do hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm in Garlemald. It's not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you other than pray for your safe return, which I will, every day. Let's not keep the contingent waiting any longer. Here are your winter woolies, handcrafted by yours truly. Aww, that's what you're getting as a reward for this, but I gotta put it on. I gotta glamour it. This is not an option. I have glamour prisms. I'll use one right the fuck now. Don't test me. Do I still have a headcanon that, uh... Tibbet looks like... Uh, or as a black mage is able to kind of, uh, keep things appropriately warm despite uh, not having any explicit clothing out of that kind just so I feel less bad when she goes into cold environments in her normal leather coat absolutely I do absolutely believe, still believe that Tibbet has means to handle things but also look at this coat this coat is fantastic we're wearing it the crafter of light exactly ha huh? Not bad at all. I wonder if I have enough to, um... I'm gonna try to, the go try to go to the gold saucer and, uh... get enough money to get the glasses glamour. Because I am one minute away from another gate spawning as well, so I do have a chance to get more money if I don't get any sort of payout through the mini cact pot. And I'm so close. There's a chance. Fuck. Only a chance, though. It does look quite comfy. Oh yeah, it looks real comfy. Oh. I suppose it is already 10 p.m. Alright, one more play. Fingers crossed. Nothing. Alright, let's go to the gate. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. <laughs> Hello, what is the time for? Oh, it's Leap of Faith. Got it. Take the leap. Oh, and it's the regular one. Okay, the one I'm used to. Now this gets me four or five thousand, right? So it won't be enough to get me straight to all the money I need right off the bat. Oh shit. There's nothing over on that- there is absolutely something over on that side. Well, Oh my god, this setup is different from before. 
got like a whole different set of shit. Walk right off this one for this. It's easy. Jump on over here for this one. Grab the one down here. Whoa, nearly fall off. As is the plan, of course. Ah, two silvers over there. Got it. One, two, and now <sighs> barely landed on that third platform. Right, made it up here. Are there any above us? Not that I see. Oh no, the gold is up there. Got it. Okay, well. Because if I can get these glasses, I can set up an even comfier glamour for Tibbet. Fine. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Nailed it. Okay. Alright, there we go. Gate complete. I think that's 4,000. Yep. Exit. Means I am two thousand short. How could I make a quick two thousand MGP? Oh, I can play the mini games a couple times. If I play the mini games a couple times, I will get a weekly bonus that will get me all the MGP I need. So it's time to punch Greg. Not very hard, apparently. Bit harder, punishing, not quite brutal. Nailed it! Brutal. Destroyed. Just sent Greg to hell. There's a thousand. Uh, so how close am I now? 99,414. Earn 100 MGP for minigames for 1,500. Okay, I can do that. That wasn't very hard. 
weak. Yeah, no, no good. I missed the center on that punch there. There we go. Brutal. Okay, there we go. 1,500 more. I have enough to buy the glasses. So... Oh, right, not you. The prize claim. False spectacles. False spectacles, real vision benefits. For Tippin. There we go. And now, it may be a fashion accessory, but in a pinch, even if she's wearing a hat, Tibbet can put on some glasses. They're 100,000 MGP. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay. So that won't show up in cutscenes, unfortunately, which is a shame, but back to the Alamegan Quarter. At the very least, I now have the glasses in my possession for if I do ever get a hat I want to wear. I am so glad that Tataru Taru has our back with comfortable clothing. Ah, okay. It's going to be a whole event, huh? Not yet. I need to go get a hood. Hold on. Save the line, text box. <laughs> yeah, I don't have nearly that much MGP, so... Excuse me, gotta go see the folks at the barracks. Several cutscenes will play in sequence, trademark. Y'all are still tired. I do suppose I did leave you exercising for a couple months. Alright, let's see. North Sea Coat in there. Edit Glamour Plates. Where do I have one that I'm not really using? I don't really use the Cryle outfit that much. So, let's... Get the coat. The Scion Traveler Gloves. Did I never... Oh my god! I never got the Alpine hat. I'm so dumb. Pirate shoes of casting actually work pretty well for this glamour. Hold on. 
I can craft it. What does it take again? Where's my crafting menu? Um, it's a weaver item. Alpine, right? Uh, no, apparently not. Shit, master recipes? And it was a headpiece. Cashmere hood. There we go. I don't know what these mean. So I need to get a cashmere hood and glamour it. Or not the cashmere hood. There was another one that was even fluffier, but I don't think it would look as good in cutscenes. So. Please keep it in mind. Apply this glamour real quick. There we go. The Highland hood. That's right. That's the one I was thinking of, but that one might be a bit too fluffy for a Lalafell. Yeah, it's so fucking fluffy. But on the other hand, Tibbet does have very big ears, so who could say if it is good or bad? What do y'all think? Highland Hood or the, um... Or the other one? Also, it has good mittens. Okay, it does, but also mittens aren't very good for Tibbet. She gotta keep a good grip on this, so... Huge poof. Yeah, it's a big poof, but I don't know that that will look appropriately dramatic given the circumstances. Because we are going to be going through... Oh, 300,000. It's a decent investment. Still going? Of course. Huge poof is cute, but maybe not thematically appropriate. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, what was it called again? Not Alpine. Shit. Cashmere hood. Okay, and then let's figure out an appropriate color for it to fit with the rest of the outfit. I think that soot black actually looks, it looks decent, but it's not quite on, right? I think soot black might look fine. Like what color of brown would this even be? I think lone brown. Or, what do you think? Lone brown or soot black? Oh my god, 
it's available from die vendors, right? Here, my FC house probably has someone to sell it to me. And there are no glamour dressers in the FC houses, I'm pretty sure. Lone Brown is crafted. Brown pigment. Dun, 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 dun. Fishing log, not gathering log. I cannot believe that I'm about to teleport to Linosia to grab a single piece of brown dye to make my own dye for my hat that I need to wear to Ilsabard. Truly, this is the crafter life. Oh my god, my actions. They are gone. All of them. Gone. What is my computer trying to update in the background? Steam's not downloading something, right? I will kill it if it tries. No, no Steam this time, thankfully. Wait, that's the level 10. It's this one over here. Oh god, it's underground. Alright, one sec. I'm just gonna really quickly blacksmith myself some dye. Hello, my brave soldiers that have been trying very hard to get me the ability to do squats while I have been away. Uh, I'm putting a new hat in here real quick and then I'm going to uh, probably head out for a bit. There we go. What was this again? What is my shortcut for this? It's zero?
And she's ready to go. Just like that. Incredible. 9.5 hours of FF14 is a bit two hours. <laughs> Such is life. It's expansion weekend. What do you want from me? I stood up, I stretched, I got myself food. I'm taking care of myself. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Alright, let's roll. Tibbet's ready. supposed to get that? What, just jump to it from here? Yeah, I guess so. There we go. Oh, there's still another wall between me and them? God damn it. Oh no, there is a spot here. Thank goodness. All right, yeah, let's depart. Plenty of cutscenes and a battle. Proceed. For whom weeps the star and divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step, but why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Alice is still cold despite the outfit. Oh my god. <laughs> and Man Elaine is fucking freezing. Shtola, as a fellow black mage, is not particularly heavily clothed. Graha knows a little bit of black magic, so he's fine as well. You know, the inner fire. We've received word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. And? They've cited a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Well, let's go kick their ass Survivors and then the untemper war, them. Perhaps. perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they're led by Vagilia, the Gatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the Vulcan. The Third Legion? I don't know that much about FF3, unfortunately. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. Oh shit. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Yeah, well, they all hate us. So. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the civil war. I'm gonna need Yet more now, water. These four I'm listening. cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Then it is all but certain they have been tempted. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. The very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament, and imprisonment? 
<laughs> I absolutely love that instantly the Pajal's just like, how would you do it? Shall we maim them? Have you considered maiming? I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments, and once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel, and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. By the way, this is not Once a child. This is like a fucking we will split severely teams. old man. Padrol are just the like that. The they they the age super slowly. It's why uh, Kanesena is in charge of Gridania. She's like hella ancient. Anyone with horns is capable of being very old in Gridania. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. Alright, that makes sense. Oh god, I just yawned. No. Also, it makes sense that Tibbet wouldn't be wearing her glasses properly right now anyway, considering metal in coals would be a bad idea. That's why the false spectacles are helpful. All the benefits of regular vision, but glamoured to look like real spectacles. Oh, that's a sick outfit, Thancred. I'm sure no one will notice the Hrothgar in the back. Please, Your for my friend Red at the very received. least, let them stand up straight. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperial's toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. That's the Bosnian fending gear? Oh, is it? Stoller always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. Uh, right. no, no, no. Once more for my peace of mind. Tibbet is, uh, when she uses the, uh, fake frames, it's to actually help her vision. She is closest. fully nearsighted. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, but whenever she can't wear actual glasses, artifice will have to suffice. will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much-needed upper hand. A blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. Keep some contacts. It's it's basically magic, but you know, small in the meantime, tolls. I will relay so she doesn't do it often and uses regular unfolds. glasses. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? It's always been his want, so you have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like. But I'll get the job done. I always do. Very well. I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> if you want it phrased in a very FF14 way, she uses a minor enchantment to augment her vision. Neoteric. Finer details of the plan. Once more. Oh my god! Two objectives. Place explosives on the Imperial Magitech. Deactivate the frontline magics via the control terminal. If the guards detect and pursue you, the enemy force will become more aware of the threat you pose. It's indicated by the threat awareness gauge. The gauge will gradually fill until you defeat all alerted enemies. If the gauge is completely filled, the guards will call for reinforcements and the mission will end in failure. Use, to swip, use swift deception to avoid detection as you go about completing your objectives. Yeah, it's literally a sneaking mission. FF14's been pretty good about these in the past. Learn about mission exclusive actions. Please, tell me about them. 
hauling points. Swift Deception renders Thancred invisible and increases movement speed. Lactive Emily Solpus and Magitek will be unable to perceive Thancred's presence even if they are within close proximity, but it has no effects on the guard's dog's acute sense of smell and they will be able to detect Thancred regardless. This action can only be used outside of combat. It will also be unavailable when he attempts to deactivate Magitek fields or execute their other actions. Yeah, this is basically Shadow Moses. Silent Takedown will instantly render a soldier unconscious. It can only be used while Swift Deception is in effect. Cannot be used on Magitek or Guard Dogs. Utilizing Silent Takedown whenever possible is essential in clearing a path to your objectives. Uh, you can instead use a Bewilderment Bomb to distract them and sneak past unnoticed. Bewilderment Bomb have no effect on Magitek or Soldiers, so take care to choose the right tool for the situation. Also, I did absolutely read his name as Maximum the Neurotic at first. So... Keep Are you ready? Yes. It's time. We only have one shot at this. Oh, so let's make that's cute. I like the little thing, cred. I'm glad that they see the unconscious person. They're just like, yeah, this seems normal. And guarding the force field. Two tempered Imperials and a slasher. I don't know what kind of radius they have. I'm glad Thancred still keeps a little bit of his rogue stuff going even when he is uh, changed class appropriately. This Hyrule Castle Gardens ass Magitek pattern. Hopefully they won't see me in the middle here. They should be moving about now. This is actually really fun. <laughs> I like this mission a lot. I keep thinking that it's going to go into the next part from the trailer. You are way better at being Thancred than I am. I... Listen, it's fun. Okay. Hiding place. This is Thancred. The explosives... I really the like the little cut-in portraits. That's very cute. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. 
Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. I'm gonna wait till the slasher goes by real quick. You even have codec calls. Yep, exactly. You got threat awareness to 69? Nice! Got it to like 60? It was close. Close to being nice. Turn around, Slasher. Slasher, turn around. Slasher. Damn it. Okay, this should be the cycle where I'm able to get this enemy. Slash will leave in a moment and pop. Okay. Now I need to wait for the slasher to pass again. And you may think, well, aren't these enemies kind of stupid? Yeah, but they're either War Machina or they're tempered. They are not particularly in the best faculties, as it were. That person's facing away, perfect. Okay. get around the other side now. Okay, I've got some idea. First I'm gonna want... shit. Okay, I'm far enough away they can't see me. Sneak past. Magitech. Hit the field controls. Well, my comes back up. Nobody else on the other side of the gate. We should be good for a moment. Easy peasy, never in, never in doubt. You are returned, and none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. And let the fireworks begin. A few moments later at the rear of the Elsevard Contingent Supply Caravan. All right, battle two, let's roll. I wonder who I'll fight as. Or if I will fight as Tibet to bay. Okay. 
The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they haven't already. Oh, I love the little... And the others are with them, so I love the little twist on Tibbet's right, hat. But... I'm so glad the auto-captioner knows how to spell Tibbet. Wait! Like... Something's coming! I don't know whose actual name that is, but I'm glad it's in there. Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good as dead! Let's full. Okay. I may not be a tank at the moment, but I can definitely help out with this. Tibet to bay. All right, here we go. Let's roll. Protect the others. Well, wait, they're actually taking their enemies down about as quickly as I am. Holy shit! They're all useful! Oh my god, when we said we were bringing the elites, we weren't kidding. Oh, hold on, Arun, let me help ya. I know you got healing to do, but here, let me, let me handle at least one for ya. Oh my god, you still have arrow three! I miss it so much. Every single one of these people is wildly competent. Oh shit. Keep the carriages safe. Wait, do I not get their names? Oh no! I haven't proceeded enough so I don't get their names! Aww. I'm so sorry, Kyla. I'm so sorry. I'll go do Bard one of these days. Oh Fear no. Not, friends, the savior of Ishgard is here. Oh my god, you are such a whiny baby. But you are taking on two people at once with the addition of uh, some help from this guy steel man, machinist. Wait, who just cast that on you? Is Alphmo in this group? Oh yeah, there he is. Here, turn away from the baby. I don't want him to get hit with a gun. Display, but the other carriages are still in danger. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line. Hey there, Gaha. Good, good, good Blizzard We're 4. Right Holy shit, he took that out fast. Oh, Holy shit, Gaha! Come on, man! I'm trying to show off of it too! Oh, that wasn't my Xenoglossy, just for the record. My turn to do that shit. Embarrassing that I even had to. Big match deck hexadrome. Good hold, holy shit. Oh my god, Graha just triple casted. I recognize the animation. Yo, fam, I didn't realize you were good enough at this.
Let's roll. Squad. Get to the front and turn the tide. All right, let's roll. NPC Black Mage are in fact Black Mage, but that's the thing. Black Mages are exceedingly uncommon because the practice was forbidden for a long while, and most of the people that are Black Mages are in part of the Allied tribes. So they don't usually get seen in the city-states a lot. Or they're Sadu. was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. It's nothing that won't heal in time. He'll live. The trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Oh hell yeah, Warriors of the Step versus the leader of the group. You know her well. Oh, that's such that's a cool looking lance. Damn it! I need to help the others take her down. I'm sorry, punch your guy first. There's no end to them. I was wondering when you'd turn up. Her revolver glaive is very good, yeah. There's no stopping us now. Come on, let's show them what we're made of. I recognize that fuzzy hat, it's the Warrior of Light. <laughs> Oh man. Let them have it. You've all just given me such a wonderful set of targets. Oh shit, Pippin? Oh shit, Pippin? You got the da- <laughs> You got your dad's move? Hell yeah, you do. Fuck him up, kid. Way to go. Oh my god, the crew in the back with a stack marker that they're gathering together for. Okay, Lisa's helping them. Oh, patching them up just a little bit. And Serena's here now. Cause Lisa I <laughs> and Sadu's here now. Alright, yeah.
Could you be my <laughs> bad night? Shut the fuck up. Resin ammunition. Oh wait, so this is gonna make sticky puddles? Oh no. GUNBIRD! <laughs> Wasn't that that guy from Stormblood? God damn, though, Garlean's built different, apparently. Okay, a couple of Magitek Predators. A couple of Magitek Cannons. Nothing of particular It'll note die. to worry about. Oh, you gonna you gonna do meteor? Yup, there it is. Protect Sadu. Quickly run the protect Sadu mission. She really does love casting meteor, but like I can't, I cannot blame her. It has worked literally every time we've tried it. Tremble before the sun. <laughs> May your scream fill the air. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good notice. All right, Sadu, handle them. Yeah, she hit him with the dull side of the meteor, it's fine. Meteors are all no- they have no sharp edges. It's fine. It's okay. Magna and Sadu would not be a good power couple, they can't fucking stand each other. Not, no, not this time. <laughs> Get shit on! That was the last of them. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the supply caravan? Hmm. Outmaneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin yeah, our Yeah, GG, rematch. Let's go. And soon we shall arrive. Get in here. GG well played. Shake my hand. 
Better player one. But actually. So cold and unforgiving. Thus spoke Emperor Solus as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. Cars. Actual fucking cars. That's That the should give you an idea of Garlemald's technological advancement. They clung to one another for warmth. Freezing. Hungry. Desperate. Hated. The moon looming ominously. Now there's a fucking aetherite. The chosen forsaken. Shit. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young Legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? I can hear you making those jerk-off motions, a Emmett. Common, soft spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? You can hear the shit-eating grin. It's actually super impressive. Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed. Bitterly so. Also, confirmation that, yeah, Solus was just a dude basically up until he was in the army and then he got body jacked and became emperor. Just like Not that. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. Lucia, he lived here. He knows. Her buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. I don't know. It's a pretty big tower. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Now well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone.
Okay, this is a relatively small area. Got it. Everyone in town was tempered. That's... That's a lot. present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city, for therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers on their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. You know, Although after this... no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. I should probably level up Bard, just to see what my friends are talking about. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. How long, how much longer do I think I'm gonna go for? Until I feel like stopping. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now. This is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. 
How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. Mm. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphino. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. Extensive travels is something of an understatement, but if there's not done something. Ice fields, I love ice fields. Oh wait, no I don't. If there are any survivors, we will surely find them. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. It really wasn't that bad before the calamity and, well, it was never more than a few paces from a raging fire after that. And Ilsebard has always been this way, holy shit! I've been ordered to make myself useful. Holy shit, you're gonna need some time and like an entire set of training. Oh, he's actually making himself useful. <laughs> We're gonna regret this, but let's, let's humor him. Magni, Sadu, Serena. <sighs> Maybe someone that brings me food will be my Nama. Well, that's true for now. If the cocos are yeah <laughs> what's up fam how many times must I tell you two to refrain from using magic around garleans we must trust that the engineers will complete the heating apparatus in due time oh poor babies 
They haven't mastered the art of lighting themselves on fire to be warm yet. Alka? like the only two I can't talk to. Hold on, I'm gonna buy a level skip for Bard. If the Mog Station is up. Because it seems like they're just gonna keep being here. And I want to be able to talk to them too. And then I'll just new game plus it later if I need to. Hmm. Again? There we go. No, wrong character. There we go. They're making me log in again! Ah. Uh. I've had to log in four separate times so far to buy this. If they make me do it one more time, I'm gonna shit. Wouldn't I have to log out and back in for the skip to take effect? Fuck, would I? It logs you out. Alright, well, that's disappointing. But I guess it makes sense. It has to apply the change. Okay, well, I will have to not have talked to Gaidel and Sanson and just know that my good friends who love them dearly will have done so in my stead. We made too many tents. We are now using the tents as bed sheets. As you do. Oh god, they have hand warmers, thank goodness. Everyone is gonna fucking love these. I guarantee it.
Quartermaster's a decent dude. Well, throw him out the trash. Always good to see that the people of AOC are reaching out to help. Unfortunately, I think that since I've hit 82, that means I don't get another cool ability till 86, and then my coolest ability at 90. I get an extra passive at 84. I get amplifier at 86. God, I'm going to need to spend so much time casting Xenoglossy this expansion. Like, I'm gonna have to be super careful to not overcap on those. It's gonna be even harder than before. I have not been checking for Aether Currents. 208 Yalms West, you say? It's like right over here. Northwest, above the wall. Got it. Well, there's the bear. Are you just running straight up to me? It is a very large bear. Well, it didn't eat the sedative, but we managed to kill the bear all the same, so it's fine. Quite a distance north, okay. Not now. Nearby here, huh? There it is. Then neither current. Ah, no, just a wind sprite. Oh god, I hate that I'm on the same layer as the mandolin on that. What do I see over that hillock? Man, there's no mistaking it. That's a girl. Listen, if there's anything that this man can spot, it's a girl at like a hundred yalms.
Well done, Amanda Lane? Something about saying that feels wrong. I can perform no actions while I have these glasses on, but it's fine. Do that you can't just be Judge Judy and Executioner. These her footprints? They are up against the tree. Sneak up without her spotting you. Yeah, I agree, Judge Jury. This tree seems like our best bet. It's big enough. No one here but us bushes. Just my imagination. Anyway, the whole opera operation is run by Tony Lazuto. Warning tin warming tincture flavor text. Fuck. I hope my luck holds that none of these beasts notice me. <laughs> I wonder what could have killed that rose. <laughs>
I wonder if that's where the quest ends. Still in one piece. Did that tree just kill a monster with fire? God, could you fucking imagine sneaking through the snow like a mile to get back home? You turn around and there's just a Lalafell there. I'd shit my pants. And then screaming, huh? What the fuck happened here? Maybe we should have brought any Garlean friends. Under that gazebo? The what? Oh, you mean the bower. Yeah, uh, sure. Do whatever you want. What the fuck is a gazebo? <laughs> Does anybody know what a gazebo is? Also, I don't like that last look she gave at the party, but also, like, yeah, I can't expect any Garleans to trust us, especially right off the bat. those firewood gathering skills god i didn't even think about that for the first bit
tiny Garlean radio. <laughs> Tibbet just, what the fuck is a radio? How is it playing music? Is it like a music box? Emperor Varus truthers. <laughs> nah, sorry man, his son fucking killed him dead. Supposedly it'll warm you up. The guy that said this, I don't entirely trust. Keep this in your mind. God, if a man lane fucked this up by giving us something else for the group saying Laterum? They are. We actually beat them up, untempered them, and now they're with us. Yeah, uh, she's tempered in gathering info. Tibbet? Tibbet, you need to immediately de No. No. You'd best watch out for baby Almasties while we're away. a feeling. Bye, Sildra. Yeah, the Illuminati are real. They're the ones in the Dravanian hinterlands that wanted to guard everything from the Enigma Codex, including the cheese recipes. Other side of the wall, got it. Imagine a gobby Magitek moon. I don't, I don't want to. Do I have to? Thank you. 
N no, that's it's actually not. Whatever. You left Alphano alone here, huh? No, no. Go keep your brother company. I don't trust that woman as far as I can throw her. For some reason, they sicked them on us, so we had to beat them up. The blue fire from Ceruleum. Oh god, does she think that we're... Okay, maybe I shouldn't actually distrust her. Maybe her sister... ...is just sick and she's afraid we'd take advantage of her? Hey man, fuck off. Also, yeah, to anybody else wondering, like, how long is the stream going to go, please consider as soon as Monday hits, I'm not going to have a lot of free time left for Final Fantasy XIV, unfortunately, for a while. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'll have plenty of time once I get past everything else. And... I'll still be able to play in the evenings, so I should still be streaming just about daily, honestly. I want to play a bunch more of Endwalker. Even if I, uh, I'm probably going to fall a fair bit behind all of my friends when it comes to uh, story progress, and leveling progress, and basically everything else. Looks like a giant minecart with windows. Uh. 
Hey, Alphano, how are those funnels treating you, buddy? Oh god, if she tried to brave the wastes. God, search the entire fucking lake. Well, that was fast. Ah, damn it. Of course, every piece of refuse on the lake isn't going to be related to them. That's probably not good.
trail. We found one. They were attacked. No. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I should have... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. God, if there's an Asian in Varus's body too, I swear to God. I want to understand, so I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Way forward, all right. I should grab that aetherite while I'm here from Tertium. It must be. Yeah, that appears to be on a different vertical level. Or it's hidden inside of here, somehow.
That's a war mech? Oh, yeah. Now we are in the Magitek zone. There will be many a war mech. You don't recognize your Han? Also, yeah, the people of the Azim Steppe have just never fucking seen tempering before. So they, they're like, okay, so they're mind controlled or something? Nah, I can't be that, but holy shit. Okay, I take it back. It's pretty bad. I'll see, I just... Hey, I had a... I had a friend who got tempered and uh, we didn't... We didn't know how to fix it back then. So, um... So there's that. Uh... Hmm? Wrong button. <laughs> oh. It's Sonia. It is Sonia. Kellen looks very stylish. talk to Guy Low and Sanson because I never did part on this file, but apparently Kellen has spent the entire afternoon drawing the NPCs that show up in this area. Yeah, Kellen is so cute. <laughs> 
Like, honestly, Sony just did a really, really good job with their design. <laughs> Kellen was the character- actually, I never met Sonya first. I met Kellen as part of the FC. And just like, I think, made them a bow? Back in, like, 2.x? And just said, if you ever need more gear, uh, let me know. Because I was in the time where I was crafting a bunch of shit and giving it away to people. And that's still a habit that I keep up. If I see someone who's relatively new and I see that their weapon's way below level or not high quality, I'll absolutely just be like, no, no, no. No, no, baby. Take this. Rick's outfit looks pretty cool as well. Everybody looks so stylish and here I am in just a cap and something comfy. I am not one for fashion, therefore so, so, uh, so too by necessity is Tibbet. A four-letter password. Thank you for the island, Mika Bob. I'll eat it immediately while well, it's still good. Password of significance to the third legion. Probably not Noah, then, but that is the FF3 expansion. Who led the third legion? I don't know. Hey, Willem, you got any ideas? Anniversary for the Third Legion. Oh, are you, have you already been untempered and you're just hanging out? First year of his reign and spent the few, first few decades engaged in campaigns across the Northern Territory. 42nd year. 0042, maybe? Hopefully. We'll give it a look. Garlean numerals, if three is written as three, so 42 in XLII. It's Roman numerals. And the treasure is a flag. Are we learning Garlean numerals? I mean, they're Roman numerals, so anyone with a knowledge, working knowledge of Roman numerals probably knows, but...
Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. Have a good one, Dark Matt. Thanks for tuning in. Take I'm easy. I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis, Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Okay. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. All right. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events of the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? Indeed, but before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Hmm. And okay. while some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. One after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Ah, okay. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor oh. to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvis is murdered. By his actual and Garlemald's son. Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius Van Belsar, is named the murderer. Even if it's Shortly not true. Nerva claims the right of succession. And in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory. House and Brutus. These contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. Money, money, so. money. Though the Popular is determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories. 
No recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacius. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. What? May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garland. <laughs> okay. All right. This sounds awfully familiar. Yup. We have something to show you all. Varys spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. Oh, come on. Xenos came back from the dead. We are of one mind, then. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against the primal's influence. <laughs> Whoops, we accidentally the made anti-tempering radios. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. However, briefly... No wonder Licinia kept it close. My friends, I must speak with you. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. Okay, the that's good. The is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. Yeah, no, if he's not do. tempered and he's stealing our stuff, now's a good time to talk. Wait, you look familiar. Even from behind. Who do we have here? Maybe it's just common blue hair, but... Garlians? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? You look familiar. I am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pianobanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. Okay, never mind. No idea. We I don't think we've met Julius before. Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones, even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <clears throat> if it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat That's with him, fine. I will take you, but no more than three. All right, Warrior Light, and who else? Oh, they're in frame. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept oh, his proposal, okay. I suggest the two of us and. Please allow me and Alizé to act as envoys. May I ask why? 
We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garleans face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. Maxima in the back just like, hey man. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. I'm going with you. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. Couple of children of what? A cell sword? Is this an insult? Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. Tancred will be worried about you, said in italics. Just this, like, complete acknowledgement of Tancred will be following you. Hey, Kuvo. Aren't you cold? Fashion above all, I guess. Where have I heard the name Tibbet before? Got the very, very sneaky hints of the Shadowbringers theme in here. Or at the very least, the same, like... have a Mika Bob on the way. Ulysses, you want a? It's pretty good. No? Alright. 
I guess that's just how it goes after a while. Since it looks like you've kept your side of the bargain, possibly Thancred literally in view. Well, there's 84. 120 second convert. Go with Eulis and defeat the tempered soldiers. Well, that is probably fine. I'm sure it's okay. Oh wait, that's right, I have to do uh I can't do my old rotation anymore. I have to do the proper new rotation. He's not helping me at all, is he? Alright, you old shit. Fine. Don't help if you're not gonna. Just let the warrior of light handle this. We have a cure for them. Your cure is probably just putting them in service to another god. I know how heathens work. Fuck off. I'm Euless. I'm very smart and distrusting of, you know, anyone from outside of Garlewald. Yo, Ty, thanks so much for the host. Welcome everyone to the middle of uh, the third area of Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. So, uh, spoiler warning for anyone that plans to play it for themselves, but we're all, we're getting in there. Things are a bit cold. Things are a bit spicy. Was Ty streaming this late? I guess so. It's not out of the question. Anyway, Black Mage still very good. Gear was happening. That makes sense. Fuck it. Alphano and Aze just complain some gear. Wanted to test your homestuck. How is your homestuck? Is he still schnasty? I did see homestuck shooting, um, shooting Kai straight out of his dragon install. So that was pretty funny. He's getting there? Fair enough. Fair enough. We're currently in the middle of cold depression zone. So, like, things are going pretty okay. so the queues aren't as bad as they were before. That's good to hear. Congrats on beating Q-Boss. Thank you. It's a frame one projectile that spawns directly on top of the reticle, so it's got some shit it can get up to. Huh. You wish all your F14 friends a very short queue times? I just had like a hour and a half, two hour wait earlier. It wasn't too bad. And I, that was 12 hours ago before I logged in for the first time and I haven't stopped playing since, so take it for what it is worth. I have a feeling I'm going to be sneaking up on Anima here at some point. So that should be fun. There you go, random marauder. Have some flair. I'm very good at it now.
Yeah, sorry, anyone that's got the weird tentacle head, we can't save them, but anyone who doesn't have the tentacle head and is just talking, you know, oh, glory be to Garlemald, I want to serve forever. Uh, if they're just that kind of mind controlled, we're fine. If they've gotten far enough in the mind control that they look like spaghetti grow out of their necks, can't do anything for them. Thank you, Eulis. And if you want any supplies, for real, Aorzi is here to help as much as you probably don't want to believe that. Oh, you're living in the tertium. Gotcha. You're living in the underground stations. Yeah, he is not tempered, but the propaganda got to him. You got 2002 to halfway through waiting on a queues a couple of times? Well, if that happens, just log straight back in. It keeps your place in the queue. Oh, there's Kellen. Just a little bit ahead of me. It also made me think the Aetherite was in the hill. Hold on, I'm just gonna tune to your aether. Oh, it's not responding, huh? Well, if you all could please turn on the aether, that would be uh, fantastic. Sh sure, man. Do what you must. These are their chosen representatives. Two kids and a mercenary. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. This man looks like he might be a Skava, but I, I doubt it. You are Commander Lord Quintus Van Kena. Legatus of the First Legion. Oh, okay, I have no idea who Quintus is. The First? I had no idea you had survived. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me, though you children may speak in earnest. Overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. 
I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we yeah, accept man, the aid, end of the world. they would expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. But after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here. And all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want. What you hope for. So much blood has been shed. So much lost. All because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Oh, man, you haven't. Is it because we do not share your faith? No, man, it's the that conquering. We do not share your heritage? It's the conquering. That our ideals and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you it's do It's the not. conquering in the slavery. Disparity is the root of discord. And peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream. And the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Galians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you if you cooperate. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to be dead. You are free to move about the encampment, but there is one condition. Collar them. Why don't you want to be under Garlean rule? Two minutes later, put them in a collar.
Do you just put my fucking children in a bomb collar? What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. Why won't everyone listen to me? The man who loves war crimes. <laughs> you needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? Cool 12 hour long stream. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> I've been having a good one, and if I'm being honest with you, once this weekend is over, I don't have a lot of free time, so you I'm trying to get in whatever I can. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. You will be their warden. Take them away. If you select the other option, you flash back to horse Ah! <laughs> I was so tempted to pick that one, but top option felt more appropriate. Can I attune to your Aetherite shard yet? All right, no magic in here. You got it. Persona non grata, grata? That's Latin for persona is not grata. No, it's um... It's a persona non graded. It's you, Octavia. I served under Lord Guys in the 14th. I was there on the night the Praetorium fell. Were you in the cutscenes? People have probably seen you a couple times. Well, can't heal him. No magic. Yep. 
Yeah, hey, quick question. How'd that cast room get there? Toward the sutures. Yeah, man, calm down. So, using the same sorts of principles as the ones from Charlene, they were able to teleport even without being able to channel magic. Actually, if they could talk to the people from Charlene, they could probably improve their technology a fair bit. Hey, Flavio! How can I help? You got your whack ass crystal skull? We want to bring you food and possibly ceruleum. Those mysterious countrymen of yours, I assume. Well, your comrades mentioned something along those lines. A hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted. Then he made his way inside the Imperial Palace. I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, exactly. What if we just left some ceruleum in the middle of a field? And just happened to find it? It's complete. It's free ceruleum. It's just in the middle of a field. It fell off of a truck. No idea how it got here. Anyway, heal your people? At all, please. It's free ceruleum for you, Jim.
who the fuck is riding outside like that at 12.45 in the morning? I know we've got some assholes nearby, but, like, I didn't... I don't understand that one. How goes Garlemald? Filled with depression. Not ours, though. Sort of ours. So. We're dealing as we can. Oh. I wonder if that's the Aether Current. Hold on. Before we head up there, I'm just gonna... So we're gonna salvage Ceruleum from some broken war machina. Is that the idea? I mean, sure. I guess. Everything's pretty fucked up. Let's find what we can. Get moving. You know, ah, no, Julius, you're so cunning and smart. You stole our food and supplies that we left out here in the cold. Damn you. Previous expansion talked about chemical weapons. Previous expansion then abandoned chemical weapons because the guy in charge got stabbed by his son because he was making chemical weapons that might have killed us, the Warrior of Light, who is the only person his son wants to fight. <sighs> Solace, you say? Yeah, I'm sure, uh... Oh, we didn't come to siphon gas. No, the site here is not the result of chemical weapons. The site here is the result of literally everyone in the city getting tempered, except for people that happen to be around a radio that sort of counters the effects, as long as it's nearby. Um, not really. Just sort of. Couldn't I beat up some working Magitek for you? Is there any working Magitek? I don't know. There might be. Somewhere. I wonder if we could pr possibly find it. It's weirdly brutalist, but no, it's it's just a slide. What do you think, Alphano? Yeah, the working ones are fueled by spite alone. The Telophoroi work in mysterious ways. Forum Solius. Hey man, why did you bring us searching for gas in a park for children? Like, I am deeply curious. What were you hoping to find in this? A park for children? Why would there be gas here? Oh, you've got depression. Never mind, I get it. <laughs> You're just here to be sad. Are you sending us on a fucking snipe hunt? A heated pond, you say?
A little friendly competition might make things interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Step aside while I drink the pond dry. Then that way we'll find it in no time. <laughs> if that doesn't work, then you can try your way. With Alphano's help. I found a handle. I think I got the ceruleum deposit. Maybe. <laughs> ceruleum tank not modeled here. <laughs> and suddenly you realize you're fucking freezing. Oh, that's so good. Hope you found something. Temperature regulator ceruleum tank. Uncovering hidden treasure is an adventurous bread and butter, though not. One is not normally required to go elbow deep in ice cold stagnant pond water to retrieve it. Nevertheless, many would choose that over mowing down hordes of slavering beasts or solving annoying puzzles. Hey, yeah, you're warming up to us now. <laughs> Fucking got him. All right, here we go. Yeah, we weren't about to die from that, man. We've had worse. Don't worry about it. Man, everything sure sounded like it ran great in the fascist empire. Where did you get your supplies? Where was the manpower for everything found? Hey. Anyway, sorry, that was, that was a weird question. Then again, you can't very well blame the people in the fascist empire for the actions of their fucking military. They didn't choose to be b born here? Question mark, I guess. <laughs> Everything built enormous and with really cleanly cut stone. Emperor is solace. He's in the military. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're right. Fuck him.
maybe the closest one is... nope. Well, maybe the one right next to it is... uh... Nah. Alright, I've got three. Oh shit, you're being aggressed by something. Hold on, you need some help, right? Oh, you're not even gonna come help. Oh no, you're absolutely gonna come help. On the move, no less. That's a summoner for you. Alright, I found three good candidates. Use your best judgment, huh? Well, I'll try the one over here for sure. And I can probably hit the other two with a single bomb if it's large enough. Oh, never mind. Alright, a half full ceruleum tank, I dig it. Oh, got it in one. Okay, sick. Not only did this tank survive the attack that disabled the war machina in which it was installed, it also escaped the blast here explosive unscathed. If medals for outstanding service were awarded to inanimate objects, this champion among ceruleum tanks would surely deserve one. You can't help it, you're warming up to the twins. I can see it happening in real time. You're going to accept aid. And we're gonna maybe talk you out of some of the fascism. Hopefully. <laughs> but before that, we're gonna go beat the shit out of Fan Daniel. Finally escape the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? I fucking knew it. You're very good at being invisible. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. After you left with the Guardian lad, Lucia bade a few of us scouts follow you at a discreet distance. <laughs> this dude sucks so bad he couldn't even you find a tail. To the station, but decided to against venturing inside. When you emerged sometime later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. An interesting development. Is the Tower of Babel from another uh, Final Fantasy? Waiting for. It's not from Four, is it? Our comrades back at the camp also received some. The giant. Wait, wait, the giant was the but giant. Still too early to get of Babel. Shit, it is Four. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Guardian... That, that was the giant robot. Oh god, that was the giant robot! Chat, there's a problem! <laughs> I may have spotted a slight issue. 
with attempting to storm the capital. Luckily, no, Alexander's no, no, already gone. So... It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's low, fine. But no luck. It's I'm perfectly afraid. okay. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. Fortunately, the Garleans aren't known for their giant robots. Yeah, that's right. Oh, fuck. Eventually, there will be that's not true at all. For us to safely salvage. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe just like brute justice? No, there will be fewer trumpets. It won't we be nearly as fun. <sighs> well... We'll do the best we can with what we got and what happens, happens, I guess. I think it's been enough hours that I should oh, also stand up and get some more food. For above ground. And stretch my legs. Brought back a king's ransom. Actually, yeah, man, we got like two tanks. Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. Ba, 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 For savages, ba, they seem positively docile. Savages, they, yeah, that, let's see, that shit right there. Uh, it's a poor attempt at humor. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are... You got a funny fucking sense of humor, man. Then how about you let us use some Our curative magics? Was fruitful. No. Whatever. Lord then Winters. perish. Use what you procured to refuel the armor. Are you for real? But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. Get a load of this guy. Yeah, war crimes man has different priorities than the rest of his people. Like, doing more war crimes. The time for action. What did he mean by that? Maybe they actually got some contact from I the can tent? I speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now, or after they join with the tenth, is another question. Oh god, are they gonna attack the Eorzean legions? Because that would be an exceedingly shitty decision. Man, that neckline is not conducive to staying warm. Will they ever escape this cult? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eula spoke? Finished your war, Council. That was pretty good facial animation for FF14. For this moment. Here. As our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then?
For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Guardians make, indulge them. Get them out of here. Not the time, quest complete jingle. Alia Lacta Est. Oh, God. What die? Yakta? Alia Yakta Est? This is the quest as a content warning for the end. Okay. Tell them to ask the aisle for further details in those words. Once you've seen to that, by the exit. You'll be able to see it coming once it reaches that point, but as a heads up. Okay, fair enough. If you see a content warning looming, that content warning is exactly what you think it is. That's not ominous. You know, I got it to I gotta hand it to Quintus. I was almost starting to forget how most Garlean's military Garlean military commanders acted for just a fraction of a second. No, he's a he's a pretty good reminder. What do you mean by Ask the Isle? The fact that Gaius is the best that we have for an exception is fucking dire. Reach the first trial? Alright, Godspeed, good luck. Titania kicked everyone's ass back at the time. Oh, I see this cutscene, the last of it, if Kellen's still here. Childhood home, I'm assuming. Quote from Gaius Bailser. Gaius Van Bailser did a lot of shit wrong. This is my home. Ah, uh, home. 
queue getting into it is pretty dire. Wow. Night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. DBSQ time 18 minutes. That's fine. When It'll go faster came, than you think. I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. But they weren't themselves, and they... They tried to... I had to... I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning, to somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. I promised. Garlean flag bears a chain, the bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center, the blood of the fallen. Our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemont. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? I'm sorry, forget I spoke. We should go. No use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. I'm worried about my kids here. The twins deserve better than this. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlean rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United as one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. Yeah, when he God started the racist talk, that was a bit much. And when we fail to live up to their standards, we should all fight the Asians together. Yeah, us in as one. Pure race. No, 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 no. Back up. Back up. Too far. Too far. The truly you almost the had truly it. The frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos, searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. 
It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them? To reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? in my misbegotten youth. But what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics, to see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands, and you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand, to refuse to suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play by your words and deeds. You're you worrying me away. now. <laughs> I pray I am up to the task. This is a lot of talk of the future for two people stuck Those in a hole with shock collars. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without <laughs> offering alternatives. Not a political game, by the way. <laughs> Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong. Stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. Thank you, Alizé. The 
only thing I hope for as part of this game, thank you, Estadian, uh, is that the twins make it out okay. Everyone else has had a good life. Don't kill the twins. Please. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. You put our kids in shock colors. You are no. lucky that and words are all that we have for proposal, you. We came prepared with a second. Fuck. That's why you brought the war machina. We've got even more war crimes to show you. Surprise. That is exactly what they were gearing up for. Loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald. Of the fallen Emperor Varys shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return. Hit him with a shield. Thanks, Arun. God bless the Pajal. Actually having a point for once. This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. <laughs> God bless the baby adult mage. The large adult son. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Oh, thank God. A voice from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. The 10th came to us! <laughs> oh, explained that their shit. efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th. Where are your reinforcements, motherfucker? Eat shit! Down entirely. Most of the 10th's conflicts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turn to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. That's why I'm not lies. even looking at my FC Every chat word. right now. What do you mean, lies? Man, fuck directly it off. Is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. <laughs> Have been listening, Lord. <gasps> oh, I'm fucking living. What are your orders? Uh, hey, what's up, asshole? Guess who your reinforcements are? Ah, huh? fuck you. <sighs> Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Now let me heat your fucking people. Of hope and now dignity. Fuck you. I release you from your duty. All of you. Oh, and content warning. Okay. I can't believe the plan about the super war crimes I didn't pay off. Your radiance. In the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united. Of peace and prosperity. If only you were do here to do this war crime. Memories of days gone. World by. peace is on the other side of that door. You just gotta stab this baby. Bonds forged in blood. 
that I will not see tarnished. This is sad, FM, yeah. Okay, this is not an uncommon content warning for this game. Xenos also went out. He just used a sword instead of a gun. You're really gonna stain the flag. That flag you're so fond of. Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too late. Well, it's too late for him, but everybody else, certainly. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. Yeah, like, right on the flag. Hey, Syntax. Not the fucking time. Or the tone to take in my chat. Tone it way down. Final warning. Only warning. In fact, eat a timeout and think about what you said. soured my mood. I'm getting food. I'll talk to you all in a minute.
Alright, oven's heating up to put some food into it, so we should be good. Let's get a couple of side quests on the area at the very least. Uh, my phone doesn't have a ton of battery left, unfortunately, and as such, the camera on my phone does not have a ton of battery left. What's for food? It's more of that pizza from earlier. So I'm going to say that uh, my phone running out of battery is probably the hard stop on today's stream, which will likely happen sometime within about the next hour, so I figure 14 hours is probably our limit for the day. And then I'll probably sleep, let my phone charge, and then pick it right back up tomorrow morning with the queue, after the queue uh, lets me through. Go until it's time for pit, show up for pit responsibilities, and then go right back to FF14. Though I'd probably have to log out and start logging right back in while I'm hosting pit. Or maybe I just use that time to level summoner or something. He seems trustworthy enough to me for now. He seems to actually have some good interests at heart. Let's roll. Wait, where 
is the thing I'm even supposed to be fixing? Hello? Side of the building? Inside of the building? Hey, Appius, how fast can you fucking run? Let's find out. Uh, where the hell is the stuff I'm supposed to fix? Hello? Yeah, I came to see that the indentured people under my uh, command were actually pretty mad about the whole thing and had some pretty bad uh, working conditions. Weird, that. I never figured out why that would have been the case. Anyway, I'm here to help now. should be where like actually where I thought I went around and saw nope there it is all right ovens probably about a temperature I'm gonna go grab that real quick and I'll be right back Pizza's in the oven heating up. You do love to hear it. And yeah, let's uh let's let him know how things are going first. Since this is a multi-part quest, and there are only so many parts that can be God the Chrono Trigger ass ship. Let's see, 141 currently. So 145 or 146, I'll go check on it since it's thin crust. server please thank you there we go ovens finally a temperature but it was like only a couple degrees short when I put out everything put everything in there in the first place the carburetor for me I'm used to being ordered around <laughs> no idea but leave it to me I'm used to being ordered around a tube connected to the core sure sounds like a plan how hard could it be to find a carburetor Meanwhile, on the other side quests we took, what was I doing here again? Searching for the scout? Oh! Ah. I'm looking for a kid.
Got yourself a box, huh? What you got in the box? Well, let's drop by the liminal station. We've got, oh, oh my god, the main story quest is far away. Um, we've got a fair bit to do out here before we head back to the rest of the MSQ. Okay, well, he stole the food successfully. Good job, kid. Take it back to your people. If you ever need to steal more, let us know. Uh, or, you know, if you have any problems with warmth, ceruleum, etc., etc., just uh, sneak by the camp. Sort of let the Aorzeans know what's going on. And uh, just kind of, you know, we'll, we'll forget a box nearby and you can sneak it out. It's no problem. The carburetor appears intact. Whatever the fuck a carburetor is. Oh shit, there was a civilian, huh? Yeah, we can handle a couple of... Nasties. God, I love Black Mage. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna teleport over and go grab that pizza. Excuse? me one moment. Warm and crunchy pizza, mine to eat. For as long as we continue streaming anyway. All right, I have found your car's burrator.
Parades the car. Well, that's not good. The car's doing a great job. I don't want it to feel bad. <coughs> oh my god. Pete said that it's the wrong tube to go down. Alright, so we're not going to help them, but we are going to slay any wild beasts near the granary so they can search for food easier. But won't they know that we're doing- No, we'll be very sneaky about that. They'll just think that fewer wild animals have turned up. It's fine. And then they won't have to worry about getting hurt when they're searching for food. How fortuitous. And then they can stay far away from those nasty Eorzean people they're occupying. Lateria, or whatever this camp was called before. It was Lateria, right? Is it going to be a problem that I throw fireballs the size of a regular ass human person? No, no. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Huge fireballs are natural in this part of the world, I'm told.
Not after I found a carburetor for you, you don't give up. <laughs> Just, we should give up. I found a carburetor for you. I learned what a carburetor was. We're not giving up now. I'm gonna be real with you all. Part of me deep in my heart is waiting for the return of Nero. I want, I want that shitty man to show up. I want him to show up and just be the greasiest nasty man. Hey, Nana Pan, was it before or after you sensed I was already in a supremely bad mood that you chose to remind me of the situations regarding my own home's problems with nationalism? Because I'm thinking, like, it was probably after, right? Like, you probably thought of it after the fact you thought it'd be a real cool idea. Thought it would cheer me right up. Well, I'm up here at 2 a.m. playing through a video game on the only weekend off I got. Anyway, you managed to highlight your message, though. Woo! I also want to see War Crimes Uncle again. All right, people of Sky Steel Manufacturing, we got to figure out how to hotwire a ceruleum station. <laughs> That's good, right? That's a good noise. Tibbet versus Angles 1v1. Hell yeah.
Surprisingly, nothing went wrong and it worked, and I'm not actually joking this time. At last, I can drink all of the cerulean I desire! I see. Right, the Aetherite was off. Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight bombs right now. I just want to leave.
Well, thank you for getting the Aetherite working at the very least. And yeah, if you want to come talk in the camp, now's a great time to do it, I assure you. Hi there. Why are you hiding in a corner? Can I ask what you want with the death machine? No? Alright, well, I guess I'll find out for myself once we're there. Yeah, sure, I'll help you help your little girl. Of course. Does she need like a blanket though? We gotta have a blanket somewhere, right? Flavius? Oh, Flavio! Well, at least Flavio saw a reason. Yanje? say. Well, take the soup. Oh, you're just gonna give me your shitty from, from some other pl- This is actually pretty good. Ah, god damn it, it's good. Hey, here. Soup. Not even a word beforehand. Oh, well. She did take the soup, though. Maybe, uh, maybe she'll end up eating it? I mean, there's no guarantee, but, like, there's, there's a possibility. How about you? Would you like soup? Oh. Oh, no, she didn't take the soup. Damn, I've still got it. I got two of three.
Show the letter to the people near the station. Oh god, wait, where's the nearest aether current? How is there already a chocobo keep here? Honestly incredible. Yeah, sure, I'll go look. If he's in trouble, we'll give him some help. Yeah, blue-haired kid's not super common, as it were. I'm not only able to grab one, right? I don't think he said only the seeds, right? No reason to not bring medical supplies to a sick child. Here we go. Proper seeds. Now we're talking. Okay. Hide this one for now. And this one was right nearby. Okay. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh god, Forlorn Maidens still show up in this. Hold on. I grab the Forlorn Maiden. Overridden bed. Okay, these bits are starting to hurt. Okay, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. No more, no more. Help, help computer. Thank you. I appreciate it. God, they sound like fucking PS1 noises. I love it. I love the weird sounds of sage spells so much. They're all very bleep bloop. What? Good morning, sunshine. Please, sit down again. <laughs> now is not the time. 
Especially while I have Brink of Death. You're being kind of a pain. I just got up. Well, I guess not that one. Alright, a bit further into the city. Oh, right, I'm probably closer to the next Aether Current, too. Northwest, you say? I'm guessing it's near the big building for Chil'jinar future. Seen something here, or was there just the one? No, it should be here somewhere. Huh. Oh, there we go. Inside the building, could hardly see it from there. Now I can hide this quest. Okay. There is the last storm at War Machina. Got stuck in the Fallen Tower. Well, hopefully this one will actually have a little bit of fuel in it. It's something. We'll salvage what we can until the Ceruleum pumping station is back up and running. Buddy, you doing okay? All right, time for another sneaking mission. Or no?
due to the congestion as he is giving us seven days free sub time. Nice, that's nice of them. It feels like an earnest apology for server issues. Aha tries to sneak around the pillar to catch you. Must have been the wind. Whose footprints are these? Kid, get out of the AoE, no! Oh god, he's toast! Oh, you're gonna get caught over there, no! Shit. You cost me this mission. You get the full treatment. I have a feeling Joni Jones also failed the mission. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah, kid, whatever. What? You can see me over here? Whack. Alright, I'll have to go even further around to get ahead of him. What, from here? Yo, shit. Alright. Kid, it is cold, it is 2.30 in the morning, and your following quest is, uh, not playing right by me right now. Let's get your Assassin's Creed shit out of the way. And let's get moving to the part where you finally just let me take you home to your mom. Okay.
Must have been the wind. No kid, nobody's here. Must have been the wind. I was that close? Though this may be construed as a particularly tiresome endeavor, remember that he is only a child and knows no better. Go help the kid. I got a personal grudge against these things now. Yes. Good job, kid. Go back to the station. You, uh, you showed me up. You got away from me and you managed to sneak back uh, before I ever spotted you. It was very cool and you're the best. Now please just go say hi to your fucking mom. Uh, can anyone raise Rarissa Reese here? Is that gonna be me? That might be me. One sec. Cool. Anyway. Swiftcast is still down, so you'll have to deal with this. The benefits to having a healer spare.
Oh, they do actually die, though. Okay. So I gotta be careful and not weaken it too much before I hit it with the item. Got it. Really? The man with the golden sun! Yeah, where is the next Aether Current? South, you say. I heard New Monk is actually a lot of fun. So I might give it a try as well. Movement based jobs are never really my big thing, but apparently they took away a couple of the monks' positionals in the first place, so who knows? It might be more to my liking now. I couldn't say for sure, but we'll find out. My color gemstones do I have? Are they area based or Alright, one more fire, or apparently not. Okay, he had to be defeated before I could use the numbing powder. Got it. Let's grab a couple Aether Currents while we're here. So I have a feeling we're getting pretty close for this zone. Yeah, three more Ambient Aether Currents and four more from quests. I might be able to fly in Garlemald before too long from now. As for the first two zones, well, we're pretty obviously revisiting those, so that's not going to happen for a bit, but... Nine means it's pretty close. 
Okay, nice. Yeah, I'd have to be in here. Northeast, you say? Confirm you can get flying in Garlemald before you finish the story there. Oh, interesting. Good to know. Yeah, the last one is the story quest. I had a feeling. I must be more tired than I thought. So maybe after we turn in these side quests, we call it for the night. I think my hands and arms could probably also use the break. And the rest of me, by extension. It is almost 3 a.m. Still, now I know that my phone can, uh... Hold out for quite a while. 700 Yalms West. I'm sure I'll be heading over there later. And that's the last one for this region, right? Yeah. Why don't I just teleport back? Ah, uh, because a couple of them are up north. I may as well just go talk to them personally. Your son should be back shortly. Thank you for offering me an Aether Current. I happily accept. Uh, he's not tempered. He just attacked. Thank you for saving my life. Here's the eight bucks I had on me. to hear that. Thank you for the crab cake, old man. Hoping your daughter makes a full recovery, and soon. 
Gotcha, plenty of glass. Get to work making lights. Everything should look cheerful in no time. A flaxen-haired man taught you all manner of ancient Alagon technologies. Hmm. I'm sure that won't be important. It's only a random side quest. Surely he'll never actually have any of those plans come to fruition. I think with that, here is where I stop for the night. I'm going to get some sleep, get some food to, uh, when I wake up tomorrow. Almost exactly 14 hours. Um, and then we'll continue with as much of this as I can handle before pit. I'm excited. And Walker's real good so far, and there is a lot of Endwalker. So, I can't wait to see more. See you all tomorrow. Talk to you then. Let's find out who's online and toss them a host. I just have to be careful not to be not to look at the channels being hosted, lest I find some uh, some spoilers. Let me host y'all over to Sonia. Sonia is still streaming. I don't know where in the story she is, she's probably ahead of me, but go say hi, have a great night. I've run out of things to say. Take easy.